Hey everybody, it's Kim Kim. Welcome to another video by The Entropy System. And we are still learning the ins and outs of this camera and trying to figure out how to make sure it's focused. And I've tested it like three times, making sure like in double checking the footage. So if this cut, it's not in focus, I'm probably going to scream. But today I'm going to do a makeup tutorial for you. Yay! My goth makeup has evolved quite a bit over the few months that I've kind of been out and messing around with makeup, like Kit started doing it for me, um, but then I like kind of learned how to do it on my own. And so today I'm going to teach you how to get my favorite goth makeup look. I already put primer on, so we use BB cream, beauty blender, foundation. When Kit first got the beauty blender and did like her botnik thing, um, she didn't realize that you had to get it wet, <laughs> so I got it wet. <laughs> Please stop. We got a new foundation. Uh, this is the old one that we had that was a um, like one shade lighter than our natural skin tone because um, we thought that's what we were supposed to do, but turns out you're not. But for my look, I like to be really, really pale. So this is what I do. So I've got a mirror over here. So I'm just gonna spread that and you'll see me getting sickly pale here. Like Leia always tries to get on camera, our cat Leia. Um, and so she's like sitting right here and I'm gonna try to keep her tail out of the stupid picture. Like she knows, she knows what she's doing. <laughs> All right, so then after that, I'm gonna use um, color corrector just right under my, like on my eye bags. So I'm just gonna kind of spread that. So like this counters that darkness and makes it nice and bright. I'm gonna use the beauty blender just to mix that in with my foundation. Some people do this before foundation, some people do it after. From what I've been told it really doesn't matter. And normally right now I would powder to set that and then do the rest of it because that will make sure that you know this is dry, not dry, but like this is set and not still like moist and whatever so that when you put stuff on top of it it's gonna be okay, it's not gonna smear anything. Um, but we have to wash this off basically right after I do this tutorial because we have a meeting today and we can't go looking like me. So. I'm not powdering now. Okay, so I'm gonna do eyes next, and I'm gonna do eyeshadow primer. This is to, like when you put eyeshadow primer on, your eyeshadow is less likely to cake um, around the creases of your, your eyelid, and the color shows up way, way better. So I'm just gonna spread that on there and then use my finger to blend it in. I'm gonna get from, oh, cat, God. Uh, she knocked over my mirror. She started to knock over my mirror. Okay, so I'm gonna spread it from the lash line all the way up to my eyebrow. And I'm gonna get underneath as well because I'm gonna do some makeup down there too. Chloe from Dissociated got us really awesome makeup stuff. We have Sailor Moon makeup brushes. And then she got this eyeshadow palette for us, which is just like, pew, colors. Um, Too Faced Chocolate Bar, I'm gonna use um, this like pale thing. I think it's called like white chocolate or whatever. I'm gonna use my large flat brush because it's easier to get lots of coverage. And I'm just gonna put that from my crease to my eyebrow. Like I hear Kit inside, she's like, make sure you explain everything in super good detail for beginners. So like the crease is like the bit between your eye, there's your eyeball and there's your brow bone and then there's that bit where there's like nothing. That's your, that's your crease. All right, so now I'm gonna use my small flat brush and I'm gonna get, the pearl color, and I'm gonna pat it onto my eyelid um, because light colors, rather than like brushing it on, if you just like pat it on, it makes it like brighter. So I'm gonna do a couple layers of that just to make it like super white and super shiny. Yeah, like after like I've gotten better at my goth look, go look like going back and looking at how I looked in the um, like beginning video, like my intro, like hello Kim Kim or whatever. Like, I feel so cringy with how my makeup looked compared to how it looks now. But that's part of personal growth, right? Changing your looks and stuff, maybe? I don't know. Now I'm gonna do Eclipse. Um, and so this is like where some of my makeup tricks come in or whatever. Like, because I identify as a lot younger than the body, I like my to try to make my eyes look a little bit bigger than they are. So I'm going to um, kind of like pat this along my crease I'll blend it later, but I don't want it to be too thick of a line. But rather than follow my crease, um, like all the way down, I'm going to go 
I'm gonna make my own crease basically. So I'm gonna go just a little bit further out than my natural crease to kind of give it, like make it look lighter. Right here is my natural crease and right here is where I made the thing. Um, so it's an illusion, magic of makeup. <laughs> All right, and I'm gonna kind of like bring that up. I'm gonna make like a little triangle to do a basic shape of what I want my smoky eye to look like. Um, and obviously I'm not gonna leave it like that, I'm gonna blend it, but this is just to like give me the general shape of what I want things to look like. I am gonna get under my, I am gonna go under my eyelid too, but I'm gonna do that later because I'm gonna do some more shaping with eyeliner and I wanna make sure that I don't mess that up. So I'm just gonna do the top eyelid now and I'm gonna do the other one in a little bit. So then I'm gonna get blendy brush and just like really gently blend that black so it's like nicely faded and you can't see like a distinct line of where like the black stops and the rest begins. Um, I just want it to be like a gentle smoky upward thing. And I'm trying not to like pull it down to my natural crease line so I'm not like really pushing down, I'm more like pushing up so that I get to keep that illusion of wideness. So the top is done, now I'm going to grab my eyeliner and um, we use exclusively liquid eyeliner with the brush tip because, you know, it's for sure going to stay pointy that way. I'm going to put this along my lash line so like when the eyelid like curves under and then there's your lashes, like right at the bottom of that curve um, is where I'm going to put this, just a real thin line to make sure it touches my eyelashes and there's no like gap. So I'm gonna do that first. Oh, and just like with the eyeshadow, I'm not gonna follow the natural curve of my eye. I'm gonna do it here, and then as I get towards the corner, I'm gonna lift it just like the tiniest, tiniest bit. Um, so there's, there's not a dramatic jump from my eyelash line to where I'm putting my eyeliner, but it's just gonna give that illusion of wideness just a little, little bit. So you'll see how I do it. I don't want any eyeliner right in the natural corner of my eye. I want that wide freaking open. I'm just gonna bring that up. I'm gonna draw a line from that, that bottom of the, the lash line that I created and kind of just do a straight line towards the corner of my eyebrow. And then from that line, I'm just gonna kind of curve down and make a slope, like a, a very smooth slope from that corner down to this corner of my eye. So it'll like, this corner will still be just that lash line, but then the rest of it will like slowly slope up and be like thicker at the end. Oh no, my battery is dying. Okay, well we're gonna pause. I'm gonna charge the battery and then we'll be back. I'm not gonna finish my makeup. Okay, so here's for round two. I let my battery charge. Uh, hopefully I don't have that issue again. But anyway, so I'm gonna do eyeliner on this eye now and do the same kind of thing. Just draw an eye towards the corner of my eyebrow and draw a line coming to my inner eye and then I just color it in like a coloring book. Now I have the top eyeliner done and so now I'm gonna do the bottom eyeliner. Like the lowest that the eyelid goes, I'm basically gonna do a straight line from there uh, towards the corner of my eyelid. So like it's not gonna curve up, it's gonna follow the top wing. I learned this from like cosplay tutorials, <laughs> but it works because like before I would like wear my get up and whatever and I'd be like, God, I still look like an adult, you know, but this helps my eyes look wider and it helps me feel more like closer to being younger, you know, rather than like almost 30. So here I'm gonna do the bottom. The, the corner of my eye is still open. So that's like wide eyes. So now I've got long eyes and wide eyes. <laughs> and of course, Seems that I'm running out of friggin' eyeliner. <laughs> like this is just not my heckin' day. Now I'm gonna go back to my eyeliner or eyeshadow, get the eclipse again. And I'm just gonna dab like the top of this, right? Like that. And I'm just gonna like really lightly go along that um the eyeliner, like starting at the inside. So I'm not gonna go all the way out to the the corner here because I still want it to be sharp. Um, but like the inside, I'm just gonna like really lightly have this so the eyeliner looks like it's kind of like fading downward. Um so yeah, you'll see it in a second. And I'm going just a little beyond where I drew the eyeliner on this side too, so it's like fading this way. The only side that's really, really sharp is this one. So I'm gonna go back again, now that I've got the under eye done, and I really want there to be kind of like a fade of like super dark black to the, like the lighter gray that it's become towards the middle. So I'm gonna pat the black on just along this side of that top wing of the eyeliner and just like 
have that side be super, super dark black, um, and then blend it a little bit that way. So it's kind of, it's like an ombre, it like fades. I don't know if you can tell, but basically I'm, I'm using the wing as a guide and I'm going to the tip of the wing and like patting along the wing all the way to the tip. So it makes like kind of like a very like abrupt stop there, which is not usually what we do, but it works for a dramatic makeup. Just kind of like blend that in a tiny bit so it doesn't, there's not like a sharp color change. I'm gonna do my eyebrows. I'm gonna go back to my Too Faced chocolate butter right up here in the corner, this dark one. So it's darker than my natural eyebrow, but it, it looks better with the dark makeup than anything else. So I'm just gonna um, take and raise my eyebrow up and right where the bottom of the eyebrow, it's like a straight line, I'm just gonna do a solid line on the bottom all the way to like where it starts to peak. And then I'm gonna take and I'm gonna go to the top of the peak and rather than follow my actual eyebrow, I'm just gonna draw it a little bit out. And because this is so much darker than my actual eyebrow, you can't super duper tell. And then I'm just going to drag up from that bottom line to the peak again. So it kind of just like naturally fades from dark to light as an eyebrow would. So like my real eyebrow tapers down here, but I'm drawing it out here just to make my eyebrows look more pointy, I guess. <laughs> All right, now I'm gonna put on mascara. I'm not curling my eyelashes. Sometimes I do, sometimes I don't. I don't feel like it right now, so I'm not going to. And then I'm just gonna like on the corner of my eye, like my lower lashes on, on this side, I'm just gonna put the brush and wiggle it just a tad. Wiggle, wiggle to give them a little bit of definition there. Okay, because I wanna look as absolutely pale as I possibly can, um, I don't use blush, but I do use a heck ton of contour. <laughs> um, and there's gonna be someone out there who's like, oh my god, this is too much contour. And I'm like, yeah, probably, but guess who doesn't care, me. All right, so I have this Kat Von D palette. Wynn got this before we started boycotting Kat Von D for being an anti-vaxxer. So there's three shades, light, medium, dark. I'm gonna start with the light and I'm gonna go like from here and just follow the underneath part of my, like if you need help finding where to do, you can like suck in your lips. Mm. Suck in your cheek and follow that kind of shadowed area. But I've done this so many times that I don't need to do that. So I'm just gonna go this way and gently brush it down to like my mouth crease here, like where the smile line sort of starts. <laughs> Cause I'm gonna do like a fade effect on this so I bring it down pretty far. And I'm just gonna bring, like, I'm not adding any to my brush. This is just like the leftover, so there's not a lot of powder left, but I'm just gonna like bring that down this way. Just a little bit to just like really make like the center of my face like sharp out. And that'll look like better as I keep going. Um, and I'm also gonna use the light. I'm just gonna put a little bit on the tip of my brush here and I'm gonna go along the side of my nose on either side to make my nose pointy. And I'm gonna take into the medium again and I'm going to get like my temple here. So it makes it look like my cheekbones are like, <laughs> like mountains. Now I'm gonna go to the medium tone and get some of the medium and I'm gonna go like halfway down on here. And I'm really lightly, like I'm really, really lightly brushing this on so it goes on in like really light layers so I don't accidentally make it too dark. Well, too dark for me. <laughs> okay, now I'm gonna go to the dark tone and I'm just gonna do the very back here, like, like the back quarter. I don't want it to really be seen when I drop my hair down like that. I want it to just be like an extra shadow that you see in passing. And I'm also gonna use to do the bottom of my nose here to, again, get that angular stuff. Oh, I forgot to put the medium tone just like at the very, very back of my temple. Then I'm gonna brush it off on my arm and then I'm just gonna take the empty brush and blend a little more so it's like a sharp line but not like a pencil sharp line. Drop my hair down and it just looks like I have really deep heckin' cheeks. <laughs> All right, and then lastly, the lips. I upgraded from drugstore lipstick to this really awesome Sephora um, liquid stuff. So let's 
to make my lips black. There's really no explaining that. Just put the black crap all over your lips. <laughs> also, before I did my lips, the contour really looks like intense, but after I do the black lips, it really fades that out, which is another reason I go so dark. Because if I didn't, you'd almost not be able to see it at all. And I'm like, when I'm doing this, I go like really tiny on the inside and I slowly expand out so I don't accidentally, cause like black lipstick is really hard to fix if you mess it up. And that's how I look like me. <laughs> and then if your makeup already looks this drastic, it's really easy to just do a couple small touches and suddenly cosplay on demon OC that you made up for yourself and bought cosplay stuff for. Like this. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you had fun. I really hope this was in focus. If not, I'm gonna die inside because I don't have time to refilm this. We're gonna film yesterday, Tuesday. We were sick, super, super sick. And so now it's Wednesday and this video has to go up Wednesday for patrons who get to see it early and then Thursday for the rest of you guys. So I don't have time to refilm because we got sick. And if this is out of focus, I'm so sorry. Please don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And is there, do you think you'll use this look? <laughs> Probably not, most people won't. But yeah, do you guys um, wanna see any more like makeup tutorials and stuff or any like other fun videos and stuff if you have any ideas of like wanting to see us express ourselves in certain ways? Um, let us know in the comments. Give us fun video ideas to like fulfill your wanting to get to know us dreams, I guess. <laughs> All right, I hope you guys have a good day. Johnny! Hey everybody, it's Wynn. I want to give a big thank you shout out to Abby, Liz Joyce, and Shoshi Bauer, and all of our other patrons for supporting this channel and helping us be what we are. If you're interested in becoming a patron, a link to our Patreon is in the description below. If you are interested in sending fan mail of any kind, our P.O. Box address is also in the description below. Please don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe, and all you in Tropical Fish have a super great day. Bye!